All right, match 24. We're all done with round two in the winner's bracket of the FFT Arena AI Tournament Season 3. And this is going to be between uh, Reno on top and Space Thaipoon on bottom. Reno has Unit 1, the Thief. Unit 2, the Ninja. Unit 3, the Archer. Unit 4, the Time Mage. Everyone in Reno's team's got 10 speed. Two-hand Platinum Sword Thief with three rays and rubber costume to absorb lightning. Item bot. We have a attack up ninja with Kajasogi as well as Abandon, so he's difficult to hit in the front. Um, Kajasogi does a lot of damage. Bla um, Blast Gun Archer, magic attack up, Kaiser Play, Pilgrimage, um, boost the damage done by Blast Gun for every turn that passes. It can heal this thief, and it can also heal this time mage that has a mace of Zeus. White robe to obviously uh, protect itself from fire and ice mostly. Sprint shoots at extra point in speed. Also a bit of a holy sniper, basically... Everyone on Reno's team is going to be going together. That's the main focus of the uh, squad there. Space Typhoon has Hattori the Ninja, Crypt the Paladin, Sharice the Priest, and Kikyo the Archer. Basically here, Inabot Ninja, very slippery, very fast with Abandon. Also has flies that can maneuver his way around the map very well. Um, very squishy and will tend to be targeted first. So this Ninja, despite ha having maybe 40 faith, it's going to go down very, very quickly. After maybe one or two shots, this ninja can probably one-shot him. If anything else, with the Kajasogi, considering how low his HP has. This, this Paladin is very defensive with defensive and Shurishi. Um, with Drought, though, not the best of choices to use with this Paladin. Counter Ice Brand. Um, Scooch on 2 for a good evade. But still, um, Drought is going to really hinder this Paladin's um, attack ability by a lot. Kotetsu, Murasame just doesn't really do enough. Uh, Short Charge Priest with We Raise, as well as Dragon Spirit. I believe she should also have Holy, not quite certain. Um, if I did, I'll have to review the match I did beforehand with this team to cover what moves she has. But still, Support Priest, Dragon Spirit for We Raise, Chantage to automatically have We Raise, and is immune to Sleeping Frogs, that's always a good thing. And a Warpath Archer with Concentrate, Wind Slash Bow, 108 Gems, good combo. Power Sleeve to boost the damage even further. This can proc Hurricane. If this Archer can basically... Yeah, because nobody absorbs Wind. Well, this Archer can resist Wind, but still. If this Archer can somehow nail the Hurricane procs on Reno Squishio units, then Space Thaipoon might have a chance, but it's not going to be easy. Reno is definitely favored to win this one. We'll go on the map 8, Rio Vane's Castle. Let's see uh, how this match turns out. We have Reno in the yellow and Space Thaipoon in the black. Hatu looks forward and goes for Mayaton for 85 damage. So that ninja is going to rush up in there and kill him with a Kajisogi. Or just regular melee whack. Either, either one would work. So in 29 damage, that's the power of the blast gun with the magic attack up. The Kikyo is going to go for. There's a Hurricane Proc. And Holy goes out further than the Priest, but she does have re raise and she'll get back up very shortly. Does be going for a tier 4? Yep, tier 4. But the Archer and Time Mage can just combo her down. Then she gets right back up and he rushes back. Reno is going to go back on the attack now. And that Priest is just about finished. So no more re-raise stretch out of her. And once again, Hurricane Proc. And Paladin goes for Petsu. Killing the thief, but uh, again. Like even a Martial Arts Paladin would have been better at this point. Um, Reno's team is just given the opportunity to cover. And this is gonna be a very quick sweep of the squad. The Archer is the only thing that's remotely dangerous. Because of those Hurricane Crocs. And the Paladin is very defensive, but... Oh, I see Grand Proc. But... That was not going to be enough. And if the time is looking for Slow 2. Slow 2 does bypass Reflect. There's already a Crystal. Archer grabs it, goes after the ninja. And so far, she's been lucky again with Hurricane Proc. Very lucky. 
But now it's already four on one. I don't see Space Space Typhoon pulling this one out. Ninja gets healed and will immediately get a turn. And down she goes. Alright, Reno takes round one. We're going to round two. Alright, round two is about to begin as we are now on map 109, Bridge. Yeah, Reno pretty much just steamrolled. Oh, I moved my microphone. Sorry about that. Reno just steamrolled through round one. No problem whatsoever. He was all over Space Pipe, Thypoon like a hot knife on butter. We're gonna see how round two shapes up. The archer should get more opportunities to use quickening this time around. See, Masamune and a paladin is fine, but Murasame and Kotetsu, not fine. So everyone's just charging forward right now. Unit 1, separated from the party. Ninja goes for a Mayaton, only for a measly 85 damage. No hurricane proc that time. <clears throat> See, the priest is now in position to do Dia. No blind proc. Uh, but that ninja is dead. Low HP? Never a good thing. Unit 1 high potions himself, then rushes forward. Here comes the holy. 211 damage. Connects. And no hurricane proc again. Ugh, Murasame. Transfusion would have been so much better. I mean, the priest would have gone down anyways, but still. Transfusion would have been much better. But yeah, I think Reno is going to just absolutely uh, demolish Space Diapoon again. Ninja goes down at least, but... Again, I don't think it's going to change the fact that, yeah, these 50 Murasames, it, it's just not going to cut it. The thief is still lurking. And the archer is going to get rid of the thief. Priest will go for a raise to a ninja instant and does connect. The thief is down, but he does have re-raise. Paladin go... You silly fool. You are a silly, silly AI. See Demi too. And Kikyo will go back after the thief. Down he goes, but she is dead. And this priest will also be dead very soon. And we're pretty much back down to where we started. It's four on one. And I would have chosen the Tactician's Blade over the Ice Brand. Just because of things like this. So now... <coughs> now we'll just wait until um, this Paladin goes down. And there you go. Reno takes this one. And... Space Typhoon, welcome to the Doom Train. <laughs>